16 under zero when the day became a threat. My clothes were wet and I was drenched to the bone. Been out ice fishing, too much repetition. Make a man want to leave the only home he's known. Sailed out on the Gulf, headed for St. Pierre. Nothing to declare, all we had was gone. hurt the most when the people there said you better keep moving on Acadian ripwood gypsy tailwind they call my home the land of snow Acadian gold front moving in what a way to ride lowered No sooner was his story at an end than Milo at once jumped up and, pointing astern to the horizon, began yelling excitedly and, to my utter confusion, began dousing the mainsail with buckets of water. My gaze settled on a black, clipper-built rig with a sleek hull heading directly after us. We immediately set to work to put all the canvas upon Milo's brig as we could get upon her and continued wetting down the sails with buckets of water whipped up to the masthead, increasing our speed. The black vessel continued in her pursuit, changing her course when we changed ours to keep before the wind. Milo, Milo watched them through her, his glass and said they were armed, full of men and showed no colors. Yes, we continued to sail before the wind, knowing that we sailed fastest so, whereas the clipper, she sailed fastest high on the wind. Now the wind was light, and we had spread more canvas than they had. Milo told me they had only a gaff topsail aft, whereas we sported sky sails and royals before and aft. So all seemed well. But then, late in the afternoon, the, b- the breeze began to come up, and she began to overhaul us, and we could see the outlines of her crew, their weapons bristling in jubilance.